Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Persetha. Now, for today, I saw this drawing challenge on Drawing with Waffles channel, and she did a sketch, but it wasn't a sketch. It was a challenge to where she only used a ballpoint pen to draw the entire image. Now, this is a big challenge because this means I don't get to sketch it out. I'm just going in pretty blind. I have kind of a good idea of what I want to do. But the thing is, you're going in with just a ballpoint pen. So you can't erase and you can't sketch it out. And it's just like, there's no control, alt, delete buttons anywhere, backspace or anything. So it's a little intimidating to go in with just a ballpoint pen and to sketch something out and then to make something uh, like a final piece out of it. And I mean, there were so many times I would just look at it and go, I really want to fix this. Keep going, keep going. There was a point during this drawing that I just thought, no, I just, I can't go anymore. I can't do this. So I was freaking out a little bit at some points and you can see, um, like I think I made her arm too long or wasn't proportionate or I really wanted to draw her body through the pumpkin, but then I realized that the pumpkin would be messed up. You know, I kind of wanted to go through like how I do my guidelines, how I make the, the lines going through to kind of line it up to make sure she looks even. And you'll see later on, I start piling on ink on top of ink on top of ink, just kind of trying to figure it all out. So this was a very intimidating thing. And I remember my one professor, he would make us do these kind of sketches uh, for gesture drawing in classes because he would do this. Um, ballet dancers or movie figures, just all these people from the 1950s, whether they be dance or famous film actors. So we would have to draw them with a ballpoint pen. And I remember it was that year that I became so fascinated with drawing with a ballpoint pen. And I had kind of learned this was during a fall semester, so I kind of learned and heard about Inktober. So when I was in that class and I was doing these gesture drawings with ballpoint pens and then I saw a couple of Jake Parker's post about Inktober and I saw a lot of people were doing these Inktobers and I kept asking what is Inktober and I had no idea what Inktober was but then I kind of scrolled through Instagram at the time and just looking around at the hashtags and I saw that Inktober was a thing where people just draw stuff out and then they ink it. So at the time we were doing all these gesture drawings and we were doing this for about five classes and we just kept going and going because he was just trying to get it into our heads to stop sketching and being worried so much about racing stuff but just going for it and i think that's really important with pens and i mean i know the rules for inktober aren't that you cannot sketch something out because you can definitely sketch something out you just I mean, you just got to use ink. That's the only rule. You're allowed to sketch stuff out. So this just brought back a lot of memories, this whole challenge. And but I, I just completely got fascinated with using the ballpoint pen back in. It was 2014, I think, is when I first did my first Inktober and I used a ballpoint pen and I was just fascinated with using a ballpoint pen and ink and just shading with ink and that's when I got really really excited about cross hatching so I mean right now you can see this is this is kind of working out you know I, I do not like how the cat turned out I really wish I could have erased the cat's face and just completely do it all over I wanted him to like be looking over her shoulder or have her um have the cat's head going over the witch's shoulder kind of looking over at the enchanted pumpkin but he I mean I don't know I, there was a lot of things I wish I could erase, but you, you just can't, you can't do it. So I just, I kept going and kept going and kept going. And obviously you can see that I am not altering this at all. I'm just going for it. And that's only what you can do when you do these kind of um, challenges with just using a ballpoint pen and sketching stuff. So I thought I would also talk about on why Inktober is so important to me as an artist. Um, so I told you in 2014 when we were doing those gesture drawings with the ballpoint pens and that's when I got into cross hatching and he, the professor made us keep a sketchbook and he would have us turn in 10 drawings a week. So I think three of them, five of the drawings had to be our actual human hands in different positions because he really wanted us to practice hands. And if it weren't for that part of the class, then I would have never gotten better at drawing my character's hands. I mean, I'm still not awesome at drawing hands, and I hate drawing hands, but they're a lot better than what I used to draw, that's for sure. So, 
Inktober became really important to me because it was 2014, I got introduced to it. 2015 um, is a sketchbook I still can't find, but I filled up a whole sketchbook in every single 31 days because it was new to me and I didn't know there was a prompt, prompt list necessarily. So it, it was just really cool to do these sketches, but to just use my ballpoint pen. And I mean, it, it just made a big difference to me that, I mean, I was already good at colored pencils and I was getting good at watercolor. And I mean, I've always been good at acrylic paint, but when it came to actually working with ink for 31 days and I was only using my ballpoint pen, it just became an accomplishment for me as an artist that I successfully drew 31 days with ink. And that was just unheard of for me or my friends or my art friends or anything because I just, I've never thought that I could draw with a ballpoint pen. I mean, I've, I always looked at ballpoint pens as something that was intimidating and something I couldn't draw or it wouldn't look pretty because it was just this minimalistic kind of art supply and I'd be scared to use it. I don't want to use this because this isn't my medium. Why would I use a ballpoint pen? and ink, it's a scary thing, so why would I use it? So, yeah, it's a scary thing, just using art supplies that you're not known to, but then this is where you push yourself and you have to force yourself to learn different art supplies. Kind of like right now, I am terrified of digital art. Absolutely terrified of it. I'm not good at it. I can't do the amazing things that people do with Procreate. I can't do it, it's just, I mean, I probably could, but it would be like for Mermaid 2018, this past year for Mermaid, I wanted to do a Mermaid digital art post every day. But at the time, it was really difficult. I'm making excuses for myself. That's always what it is. It's always for excuses. But digital art, I did do about maybe 10 Mermaid doodles on my Procreate app on my iPad using my Apple Pencil. But... I don't know, it just takes me so long for digital art. And I mean, that's gotta be the same thing for people who are digital artists and they're scared to do traditional art. Or it could, it just, it's just intimidating to start to, draw, to try different art supplies. And I mean, that's what I looked at when I did the ballpoint pen in my professor's class, which was a fashion design class. It was actually uh, designing for the stage fashion, so it was a, fashion for the stage so it was all theater costumes and picking certain costumes for our shows that was the same year that i was forced to do watercolor same class and i got good at both ballpoint pen and cross hatching as well as watercolor so they became my two favorite things to doodle with and just to draw with i absolutely love it love it love it love it love it anyways so i mean that's why I like Inktober so much, and I feel like this is a national holiday month for artists out there. I mean, some people look at it and they go, I just don't have time, and that's okay. I mean, when I was looking at Mermaid doing those digital painting pictures, when I wanted to actually participate in every single day of Mermaid and to force myself using those 31 days of May to, I think there's 31 days of May, I have no idea, I think there is, but just using those days to get better at digital art. And I think that if you're drawing continuously every single day and you're forcing, self, forcing yourself to get better at this medium every single day and you just put, push yourself to do that, then, I mean, that's what makes the biggest difference. And that's what I was trying to do for Mermaid. I was just trying to think, I was thinking that I would get better for digital art by continuously doing it every single day. And I just didn't have time. And that's a huge thing with Inktober too. If you can't do it, all you have to do is just a couple of days. I mean, that's all anyone expects is just a couple of days, just to participate a little bit. I mean, I'm, I'm doing a huge leap. And I did this last year and it kind of drove me a little bit crazy, but I'm gonna do it again, is where I posted a video every single day of my Inktober drawings. So 
it drove me nuts just because I think there was I, I didn't want to fall behind and I think that's always the scariest thing when you do these challenges where you post every day of the month so if you're a youtuber or if you've tried to do the 12 days of Christmas then the vlogs of Christmas or the 25 vlogs of Christmas I've seen a lot of those if you try to do those it's just you get the scary thing of I don't want to fall behind so you start off strong and you're just like oh my gosh I'm gonna fall behind but I think that now that I've already done it for one year and I'm challenging myself to do it again another year I'm more prepared I know where I can like pursue a couple more areas and how I can prepare a little bit more not procrastinate as much and there's gonna be a couple of weeks where I have to prepare the whole week drawings because I'll be out of town and I need these videos to go up. So every single one of these videos will be uploaded. It's just that I need to get them prepared. So I'll be doing like seven drawings in three days at my house recording and then going off on these trips and oh my gosh, I gotta get these done. I've gotta put these up on YouTube and get them up at a certain time. I think that's another thing I really wanna try to with this challenge is to just post at a certain time and I'm hoping that I can get every single drawing for Inktober up before 12 o'clock in the afternoon. I mean, I say this now, of course, but watch, it's gonna be up at 10, 10 p.m. one day. I don't know. I'm just, it's just a huge challenge. I'm better prepared this year. Um, I've got my supplies ready to go. I had to order another sketchbook because I realized, I said it in my other video, I thought, oh, I don't need to order another sketchbook because I'm gonna use this one and I'm already ready to go. And then I went in and grabbed my sketchbook and I started counting the pages and I went, oh, I've only got 15 pages. I could possibly do back-to-back -back pages, but I might wanna sell these. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get another sketchbook. So I was freaking out because they were saying, oh, it's not gonna be there till October 3rd. I went, wait, no, I need it now. <laughs> so yeah, this turned out okay. I mean, it's as good as it's gonna get for not sketching something out. There is a lot of things I wanted to change and there was a point that I was leaning over it. I would have to stop the video and lean over it and look directly on top of it to see, oh, I see so many mistakes. This, I just gotta fix this. The eyes were wrong. Everything was wrong. And she just, I mean, there's some points that I was just like, I really wish I had an eraser, but this is the beauty of that challenge. <laughs> It's a big, big challenge. And if you guys are brave enough, which I know every single one of you are, go in and just give it a try. I mean, this is not the rules for Inktober. You're allowed to sketch something out and then ink it. But if you're just bored one day and you already finished your Inktober or you just wanna try it, then go in blind with a ballpoint pen. But yes, leave in the comments down below. Are you excited for Inktober? Are you participating? I want to know. I want to know how excited you are. Are you following any prompt list? Are you gonna follow Jake Parker's prompt list or anybody else's out there? I love looking at other people's prompt list. I'd love to know. Just let me know. Comment down below if you're excited. I hope you guys have a most wonderful weekend and I will see you all later. Bye.